So, uh, Bismillah, let's start with this exercise and then we do the other one. This first one, we'd like to not have this. We'd like to write a program that initializes a string object to hello the world, prints its length, then erases the word D from that string. So, which means we'd like to remove that from the variable. And we can do it without removing it from the variable by this print on the screen, which is what some of you did. But uh, you can just have a small step and then you answer the question, which is by changing that in the variable. Now I need to declare a new variable called string. Let's call it, I don't know, message. And in that message, I'm going to put hello, the world. And that's my text. Is that it? Yes, with the capital W, just to be more specific. And then now what I'd like to do is that I'd like to print its length. So I'm going to do something. Let me show you something that you will like, but I'm showing you this only after I make sure that you typed this system that out the print line so many times that you know how to type it. But you need to know how to type it. Now once you do, there's a shortcut for that system that out the print line. This shortcut is S out and you press tab. And here you go. That's very nice. S out and then the tab. But if you go back and you have to type it in once. S out, tab, this gives you the system that out the print line. But make sure you know how to type it. So anyways, I did not want to show you this from the beginning. So I know that first of all, you need to remember how this system that out the print line is spelled. So you don't forget about it. If I ask you a question in the quiz about the spelling and I put a, some problem, you need to be able to spot the problem. So for example, if I do something like this, I'm not going to, but this is a very small problem that is even with the trained eye might be hard to catch. That's the one. one that looks like an L, right? And that's the problem. But anyways, if I do something like this, you're going to should be able to see it on the paper if I tell you that this is this or correct. Anyways, but now that you know how this is working, you just can just go somewhere, S out, and then press tab. It's going to type it for you. Now I'd like to display the length of this, so message.length, control space, finishes things for me. And then I'm going just to, no, I, just, I wanted to click on this button. Now this gives me 15, which is, I don't want to count, it looks like it's 15, I trust the computer. Now from that I would like, sorry, I'd like to remove the D from that string. To remove the D from the string, what I need to do, maybe just have a substring of this, substring of that and then join them together which makes me get it done which is what I'm going to do so now this message I'm going to put inside of it the message that substring and then from 0 to six. I need to count 0 1 2 3 4 5 why 6 because 6 you include the space yeah. okay so let's include the space we put the 6 yeah. and then plus the message again dot substring and then again, now we need to count. This was six, nine, nine, seven, eight, nine. I'd like to have ten. So this is ten, right? Not well. I already include the space here. Why would I include the space also here? Oh, okay, okay. Then all right, you're you're right. That's because this you're more specific. So actually, I'm just going to remove this and keep the two spaces in between. That's more s precise than asking, I mean, addressing the question exactly as it was mentioned. And that's a good thing. So yeah, you're right. So let's put 9 then. Because I just would like to remove only the D and keep the spaces before and after. So it's 9. And then the last one is, well, I don't need to because I say from 9, give me until the end. So I don't need to put another number. I can if I want to, but I don't need to. Now, this, before putting it in a variable, I can just take this, cut it, and then put it inside this, just to see what is going to be the output. And I'm seeing hello with the two spaces and then word, which makes it work. Now, just control Z will bring back what I did. Now, I change this and put it back into this message, which means this new text now is going to be inside the message, which means if I display the message, I'm going to see hello the world, which is good. Now I officially changed the text in the variable. But there's an easier way. Much easier than this. 
Well, because I did not print it before. I just print this, the length, and then I print it after it was changed. So that's why. If I want to print it before the change, I can do that, for example, here. But this was not required. So this is before the change. I make the change. I display it after. I can see it. Now it's working. Now there's another way. And by the way, there's another way. And I would like to introduce you to comments. Comments are some kind of instructions that tells the computer, don't look at this line. Now, this is line now, this double slash means that this is a comment, which means use generally I put it to put some information, like this old way, to put some kind of comments on your code. So if somebody reads your code, might be able to understand it easily. There's two types of comments. This is a line comment, and there is a block comment. With the line comment, I just put one line. After, after the line, if I type something, it's not a comment anymore. But if I want to type multiple lines, this is called the block comment. But I need to start with to do something like this. You start like this, you finish like this. These are just some aesthetic things. But this is how you start, this is how you finish. And now you, whatever you type in between is never going to be uh, executed. If you type int a, you see this is not going to be considered to be a code because it's a comment. Now, two types of comments, line comments and block comments. Now, if I put something like this, it's not going to be executed. Now, if I run this code now, I'm going to see, hello the word, hello the word, because this is not executed. So nothing was changed. Now, let me introduce to you, there's a very interesting method, which is called replace. I'd like to replace the with nothing. And this is going to allow me to delete it. And if I run, it's exactly the same thing with just one instruction, I mean one thing. But you can, anyways, I'm just showing you different ways to do different things. Is well, but as you can see, it works. So it, it, it pays off to have a look at these different methods. Sometimes you would like to do something. Have a look at these methods. Maybe one of them is doing something that you like. But how do we know? would you know? Well. First of all, you can Google it. Second of all, you can um, see this kind of explanation that tries to explain to you what this does. Sometimes it's easy to understand, sometimes it's not. But you can also get the help from Google. Yes? Yes. Uh, well, what can be well, I'm sorry? Replace. Replace. It changes this with something that you give. So uh, now this text that I give is going to be replaced by this is empty. If I put something in between, well, now this is what I'm going to see in replace this. Instead of this D, this is what is going to happen. So this is what the replace do. But notice here I'm putting this no space. Because if I put a space, now I'm going to have three spaces in here. One, two, three. That's not what I want. So this is an empty string, while this is a space. This is an empty string. All right? Why three? What do you mean three? Because if you put a space now, I'm replacing D with a space. There's a space before, there's a space after, and this is an extra space that I'm replacing it. But if I don't put a space, it's just like remove it. That's delete. So can I use it like an of, uh, exercise three? Yes. And exercise three basically is the same thing. I'm going to do that exercise three, which is week two, exercise four. Sorry, not, this is exercise three already. Uh, let's do this for exercise four, which basically is the same thing because exercise four tells I'm going to write a program that starts with a line of text and then output that line of text with the hate changed to love. And for example, my I'm going to do is let's you know what I'm going just to copy this and then put it here. This is my new text. You see, this is the comment and now instead of this I'm going to make I hate you and from this I hate you I'd like to replace this with love which means message is going to be equal to message dot replace hate with love and then if you display this 
message thing. Now I'm going to see, not I hate you, but I love you because it replaced hate from, from love. So now I can display something that the text was before, it was like this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on means hold on. So if I display something like, okay, the text before, before, and the text after. So, so I made text before, I display it, and then I made the change, and then I say the text after. So this is going to be something, uh, hold on, I made a mistake, the text after. And then if I run this thing, now it's going to show me the text before, I hate you, the text after, I love you. And if I don't want them to be on two different lines, I can use print instead of print ln, and put a space so I can have a distance between this and the text. Same thing here, put a space and remove the ln, and now look what is going to happen. The text before, I hate you, this is what the print does, because I print this, and I'm not going back to the line. That's why I put the space here, so I don't want them to have be stuck together. So this is print, and don't go back to the line. And this is print, and go back to the line. So if I do print again, it just prints from where I stopped. And then don't go back to the line, because it just prints, and not print it in. And then print and go back to the line. So it goes back here. So this is the difference between the two. So now let me take his question and take yours. Yes. Plus plus? No, plus plus works with numbers. Does work with text. Yes. If you want to show your code in? In double quotes? Or you'd like to see the double quotes? That's a good question. Now what if I'd like to see the double quotes? For example, here I'd like to see double quotes, I hate you, between double quotes, and this one, I love you, between double quotes. That's a very nice question. And to answer that question, first of all, I need to know where the double quotes are going to be. So before this here, right? So before this message and after the message. So let's put a double quote plus and something after plus. So just if I'd like to use a single code, it's much easy. Now, if I use a single code, that's something that I can put here. Notice what is going to happen. Now, before the original message, there's going to be one single code here and one single code after. Let's see it. That's what I just did. One single code, one single code. And you can put a double code. But what if I would like to put a double code? Double code. Like this, but it doesn't want, because, <coughs> yeah, and then there's a problem. It's not possible to have something like this. Why? Because now, that means knows that the text starts with this and stops with this. And then, so this is where the text starts and stops. And then this is another text that starts and stops. And it doesn't understand why you put two texts without anything between them. So, now, if you want to do something like this, because this double quotes is a special character that is used by NetBeans, by Java, to recognize the beginning of a text, if I would like to display it, first of all, I should get off the phone, and uh, probably Abdel Razak knows what I'm talking about, but congratulations, you're on video, <laughs> using your phone. Everybody's going to hear it for many years to come. So, uh, this double quotes is a special character known by Java to delimit when the text starts and stops. I cannot just display it like that. If I want to display it, I need to use another special character to tell it to that this is a special. I would like this not to be considered as the beginning of a text, but just a chart that I would like to display. Just a character to display. And this is called backslash, which is just on top of the shift. Now notice when I put backslash here, it became a little bit weird in terms of the font. Like it changes, the size changes, you see? And I can see I'm doing backslash and see that no more problems. Now this is the backslash and not the slash. You see the slash is like this, the division, and this is the backslash on the other side. Now if you run this thing, now I'm going to see the double quotes 
that I wanted. That I mean, that uh, who's what's his name again? That Muad wanted to make Muad happy. Use backslash before the double quotes. Actually, there's other things that you can put after the backslash, and that has some meaning. Uh, more details in the video as well. Backslash n, one of them, are very, very one of the uh, one of the known ones are backslash n. There's other ones. Yes, your question is. What do you mean by can I declare a character? You would like to declare a variable, and then you put that character in it. So how would you do that? Now, if you'd like to put a character in it, you should do something like this, or maybe like a a char. That's what you mean. Okay, that's a good point. Yes, you can do something like this. You can declare char. Uh, call it a double quotes or just double quotes or maybe just quotes a quote and then I put inside of it one single quote and then inside I put a double quote and put the semicolon yeah. then this quote here I can just do something like this before this after and this is okay yep yeah. seems to work so you can do it this way or the backslash and I'm going to keep them both because I would like to uh, put this on the website and later on on Blackboard so I can be able to see this code later on to get back to it. Is that okay? Like what? Float? Yeah. But this is like a different way because there's this is an escape character. This is called the backslash is an escape character because after you can put a lot of different things. And you can find more details about that on the video, inshallah.